DynamC is a default WESWIC editor in Plon4. It allows to edit content on Plon websites as easy as you would do it in any other text editing software. Let's have a look at this editor on Plon4 website. On the top of the text area, you can see the toolbar containing many buttons and a drop down menu. There is a resize bar below the text area at the bottom. If you drag the lower right corner, you can make the editor window bigger or smaller. It is often comfortable to use full screen mode while editing the text. You can also switch to the HTML source um, editor to edit the code generated by TinyMC. Let me display you some basic text editing with uh, this editor. Select some text to make it page subheading. Select some lines of the text to make them a list, unordered or enumerated. Uh, make a piece of text be linked to um, some other pages on the current website or to any other external source. Let's um, link it to the external source. Type in the site URL. You can use preview button to make sure the address is correct. Select some text to make it uh, highlighted. TinyMC also allows to insert images, tables and other objects. Uh, to insert image, for example, use the corresponding button on the toolbar. Select the image you want to insert from the current website or you may upload the file here. Uh, you will see the image preview. You can type in image description. This is the text that will be used in the alt tag. Um, you can select image alignment and its uh, dimensions. Now, if you check the page HTML code, you will see that all the data we provided on the image insertion form is there. So, as easy as this, you may insert any other objects or make the text uh, be bold, italic and uh, anything you need. Now, let's save our page. And uh, here it is. This is how the basic text editing is carried out with the help of TinyMC Editor in Plon4. The default TinyMC Editor look can be customized. You can change editor dimensions and the way it looks. You could add more functional buttons or remove unnecessary ones from the toolbar. All these can be configured in Site Setup, TinyMC Visual Editor Configuration Area. There is quite a big number of possible settings within the Layout tab. You can configure editor width and height. Also, you can set text and table styles to be available in the corresponding drop-down menus. Another tab is the toolbar. Uh, here you can control what buttons you want to have on the TinyMC toolbar. Simply disable those that you don't use and enable those that you want to have on the toolbar. After you are done, save the changes. And uh, now, after you reload the page edit form, you will see the customized version of the toolbar. You will see your new buttons and now you may use those new functions that you enabled. Let's, for example, insert the date and the time. Or the smile. Now we also have the print button. We can configure print printing options. Well, these are your new functions. One more tab in the TinyMC configuration area is the resource types. 
Here you can uh, turn on linking using unique object IDs as well as image captioning and um, even some more.